a teacher that he calls again and in this video we'll be talking about industrial preparation of hydrogen i wonder what for industrial preparation is manufacture of hydrogen so if i say preparation that's laboratory preparation if i say in manufacture that's industrial preparation Hydrogen can be manufactured industrially by the following methods. Number one, from water gas. You call that the Bosch process. Number two, by cracking of natural gas. Number three, from hydrocarbon by steam reforming. From the electrolysis of brine and acidified water. <clears throat> How do you prepare hydrogen by Bosch process? First, water gas is formed by passing steam over a red hot coke at a temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius. And this is the equation where coke that contains carbon reacts with water that's not liquid now is gas steam is steam to give us carbon two oxide and hydrogen so the mixture of carbon two oxide and hydrogen is known as water gas water gas so from this water gas now you produce hydrogen by passing the water gas through excess steam. So you're going to add more steam to the water gas using a catalyst called ion 3 oxide or chromium 3 oxide at a temperature of 450 degrees Celsius to generate more hydrogen and carbon 4 oxide. And that's the equation you find in this place. This is the water gas with excess steam. So the CO we turn to CO2 and the hydrogen will be formed more from one mole to two mole. So that's what happens in the second stage. Now, in the third stage, now we're having a mixture of CO2 and hydrogen. But our intention is to manufacture hydrogen gas, not carbon dioxide. So what we need to do is to remove the carbon dioxide by dissolving the mixture, that's mixture of CO2 and hydrogen, under water at a pressure of 30 atmosphere. You call that washing under pressure. Because carbon dioxide is soluble in water, under high pressure, what we have in our soda drinks, all the big yapu, all the Fanta and the Coke, is a solution of carbon dioxide in water at high pressure. So CO2 can dissolve in water at high pressure. So, but hydrogen is insoluble in water, it's practically insoluble in water. So when you dissolve the mixture inside water, at that pressure of 30 atmosphere, the CO2 inside will dissolve, leaving you with pure hydrogen gas. However, if there are some traces of carbon two oxide, that's CO, because it's possible to have some CO that did not react. So to remove those unreacted carbon two oxide, you dissolve the mixture use into ammoniaca copper one ethanoid so this ammonia copper one ethanoid or copper one chloride can dissolve co but cannot dissolve hydrogen so that is how you produce hydrogen gas industrially by bosch process that is First of all, produce carbon, uh, first of all, produce water gas using 
steam, and red hot coke. React the other gas with more steam to give us carbon dioxide and more hydrogen. Remove the CO2 by washing under pressure. Then finally, remove any traces of CO by using ammoniac copper one ethanoid. Second method of producing hydrogen is by the cracking of natural gas. When you subject methane to a temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius, it's going to crack and give us hydrogen gas and carbon. You call that cracking of natural gas. Methane is the major constituent of natural gas. Number third method is from hydrocarbon. Steam reforming of hydrocarbon. If you mix hydrocarbon like methane or propane with steam at temperature of 800 degrees Celsius, a mixture of Carbon two other than hydrogen gas is formed. And you call that mixture synthesis gas. Synthesis gas contains carbon two oxide and hydrogen. Just like water gas. But the difference is that synthesis gas is obtained by passing steam over methane. That is by reacting steam with methane. But water gas is obtained by passing steam through a red hot coke. Don't forget, you use coke to produce water gas. You use methane or hydrocarbon to produce synthesis gas. But both water gas and synthesis gas have the same composition, carbon oxide and hydrogen. So for the case of synthesis gas, a nickel catalyst is used. You use a nickel catalyst to produce synthesis gas. So, once you get your synthesis gas, you pass more steam to the gas and it gives you carbon two oxide and hydrogen gas. Just like the Bosch process. It's just a modified form of Bosch process. So, the CO2 is removed by using alkali, like caustic soda or caustic potash. So they absorb the CO2 away, leaving you with only hydrogen gas. So if there's any trace of carbon oxide, you know what to do. You dissolve it in ammoniac copper one ethanoid. It removes the carbon oxide, leaving you with only hydrogen gas inside. So it's a modified process of Bosch, a uh, midwife form of Bosch process. Number four is by electrolysis. You can produce hydrogen by the electrolysis of brine. Brine is concentrated sodium chloride. Or by electrolysis of acidified water. That is addition of H2SO4 little into water. It gives you acidified water. Then you can also electrolyze pure water. It will give you hydrogen. So those are the processes we normally use in manufacture of hydrogen by uh, in the industries. 